daily challenge. I am random ones challenge. One isn't a very random number. I disagree with your assessment. Let's see. Three, 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 three. For a guy named I am random one, he sure has a lot of threes. All right, I am random one. Let's go ahead and put down a dart monkey. And then let's go ahead and put down a boomerang monkey. And then let's put down a sniper monkey. Let's, let's spend all of our money at the beginning. You know, let's just not be fiscally responsible at all. There we go. I have four monkeys at the very start of the round. What can possibly go wrong? I probably could have, like, upgraded one or two of them, but it's fine. Don't even worry about it. I know you're out there worrying. I know you're worried sick, but it's... Don't even worry. It's fine. Red hot rangs. There we go. Now that's red hot. Can this guy get the same? Hang on. Does the boomerang guy have any kind of camo? Oh, he has the glaives. Okay. Uh, for camo, I think we'll just go with my man, Sam Fisher. I think a uh, crossbow guy can do it as well, probably. Yeah. Camo, camo, camo. Isn't this riveting? Isn't it great watching somebody be an easy challenge on Monkey Meadows? Just the pinnacle of Bloons content right here. We got camo covered. We got lead covered. But we don't have motorcycle insurance. Better call Geico. I'm still subscribed to Geico. They released some new ads lately. They weren't very good, though. Their old ads were better. Whenever they try to do, like, a funny joke one, it sucks. Like, the ones where it's like, Geico, wouldn't it be if this is crazy if there was a clown? And then a clown's like, I'm a clown. That's not funny. All I need is the little lizard guy. The little Geico the gecko man walks down and he goes, I'm a little gecko. It pretty well animated in 3D. Look pretty convincing. Here I am standing on a bridge in New York talking about Geico. I like those. I like the little lizard guy. He's cute. Stick with that, Geico. Do you have an opening in your marketing department? Because I will join for free. Don't even got to pay me. My only demands are I get to have complete creative control over every single advertisement. My ideal Geico ad is an eight-hour ad where it's just beyond two souls, but Jody is replaced by the Geico Gecko. Geico the Gecko plays Among Us to advertise life insurance. That'd be pretty good. Or, oh, as you can see, I just killed, got killed by the imposter. Now, if I had Geico life insurance, my next of kin would get a fatty payout from that. Does Geico even sell life insurance? Does Geico even exist outside of the USA? I don't even know. They're an insurance company. They got a little lizard that talks. Here at Geico, we're just like all other insurance companies. You pay us hundreds of dollars a month, and then, when you need to make a claim, we go, nah, and you're screwed. Ha <laughs> ha! Geico. Are you in good hands? No Geico in the UK. Hmm. Don't need insurance in the UK? Well, it's not health insurance. It's just car insurance and crap. Health insurance is even worse. Health insurance is you pay them freaking like $1,000 every single second of your life. Then you go to the doctor one time, and you're like, hmm... I think we can cover like 20% of that bill, maybe, but it's a stretch. Like, ah, mm, 20, uh, it's, I don't know. You're saying this is your yearly checkup? Ah, I don't know if we cover that. I don't know. Mm. Uh, make sure your payment of $20,000 per year is on time as well, please. Mm, yeah. Welcome to the Oboe Shoes Politics stream, where we complain about the American health insurance system. Coming up next on Political Hour, my opinion on the Republicans and the Democrats. See, the Republicans give me like a really, like a red kind of vibe. But when I when I see Republicans, because of the R probably, I think red, you know, just really red, like really like a crimson, nice bright red. But the Democrats, they're kind of blue. Like they give me way more of like a blue type feeling than the, the Republicans do. Republican is definitely red. How did I get defeated? I'm talking about politics, that's why. <laughs> Which monkeys are Republicans? <laughs> probably this one, probably Sniper Monkey. Sniper Monkey's probably a Republican. Get politics out of my balloons, SMH. He we'll see he's popping on the red balloons. Could this be a hidden message for the fracturing of the Republican Party? Nah, probably not. It's probably a monkey shooting balloons in a balloon fun game for kids. Let's put down a little boomerang clown. Get some red hot rangs. I like red hot rangs and glaive combo. But also, this guy's pretty crazy as well. Maybe I'll go for the robotic one this time. Maybe I failed because I didn't get the robotic boomerang thrower on medium difficulty monkey meadows. A true challenge. These monkeys are too gray for my liking. Hang on, wait a minute. Why has he got like a blue hat and green camo in this? But then on the field, he's just a gray guy. Oh, the upgrades are restricted. That's why I lost. Because there were restrictions upon my power. They knew I was too strong. They said, we gotta we got, we got hold this guy in. He's too powerful. Okay, that's why I lost last time. Duh. Because it's all three, 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 three. I forgot about the power of three. I forgot there were threes. I thought it was one because the guy's name is random one. That's why you don't catch me taking math class anymore. See, now he's got an orange hat on. And this is still blue. I feel like usually the update... Yeah, that, that looks fine. Except the yellow stripe. Usually the render up here looks right, but this does not look right at all. That's weird. The new update for balloons breaks the game. This crazy glitch is sure to be patched. Abuse it while you can. Have you taken a side on the debate of one billion lions versus one of every Pokemon? 
well, the Pokemon will win because Pokemon can fly. So the Pokemon would just like fly above where the lions can reach and then just sit there for like a week and all the lions will starve to death and die. Like Geodude himself can just, Geodude could just like fly into the air, like a mile into the air. The lions can't get him. All the lions are going to kill each other and die of hunger. And then the, that's easy. Lion ladder? I don't think the lions can have a lion ladder. I mean, they, yeah, they can all clump together to form a giant clump of lions, but Geodude can just fly up more. Like some of the Pokemons are like dragons. They could like literally like fly to space probably. They'd be fine. The lions cannot get that far. They can't get that high up. And if they do, God will smite down their tower and curse them by giving them all different languages. A billion lions is a lot of lions. Oh yeah, but not enough to like breach the atmosphere. And plus, even when they breach the atmosphere, they're just gonna die because they're lions. They can't breathe in space. They're not Mewtwo. Mewtwo is like an alien from another planet, isn't he? There are two different legendary Pokemon that can bend space and time. Yeah, see the Pokemon win, no problem. Next question. This one's QED. How many oboes would it take to kill a Tyrannosaurus Rex? One. I would just get a bow and arrow and I would just kite him. I would, I would find a tree with a really thick trunk and I would just like over the course of like a month, like get a million trillion arrows up there and some food. I build a tree house basically. And then the yo T-Rex get over here and you go like, huh? And you would run over. And then I would use my zip line. I set up to zoom, like to shoot me into the tree. I would sit in the tree and just plunk him with arrows for like a day until his health bar ran out and he died. Another easy question. Next, I think I just got to spend all my money by being a little stingy with these upgrades. It's got to go all in, you know, I got thousands of dollars. Might as well spend them. If you have a thousand dollars, don't invest it. Spend it immediately. Here at Games Workshop, what is the biggest animal you could take on one on one? Probably a whale, because here's what you do with a whale, right? You go up to the whale, the whale surfaces. You just freaking cover up the blowhole. You just like get a rock and like put the rock in the blowhole. There, it can't breathe. It's dead. Bye bye, whale. Like, yeah, they can like blow air out of it, but you get like some glue. Like, get, like, some super glue and just, like, glue, like, some popsicle sticks around the blowhole. And then there you go. It's dead. Easy kill. It's, like, the largest mammal. It's, like, one of the largest creatures. If I can kill that and kill anything. In conclusion, I can kill any creature on the entire world if I wanted to. You're just lucky. I don't choose to unleash my true power. You think one octillion lions could defeat the sun? I don't think so. The sun is just, like, a ball of lava. How do they defeat that? Just blocking out the sun would not kill it, though. Like, if they surround the sun... Okay, it might be dark, but it's not because the sun will just burn them. And then also, it didn't destroy the sun. The sun is still there, just not putting out light because all the lions are absorbing the light. There's no way for lions to destroy the sun. All right, here we go. One trillion lions versus the sun. Who would win? Solved with science. In early 2015, he used science, you guys. Who would win image macro circled the internet, pitting one trillion lions against the sun. Many responses came, none of them serious. Eventually, though, a few people. All right, double speed. I, got, I need double I speed science. All right, skip to the ending. Compress the lions into a black hole. Okay, that could work. Increasing the temperature and the number of plasma particle collisions. Eventually, the fusion will cease. Okay. So, if you make a black hole of lions, you can destroy the universe. Okay. Well, yeah, it will, it will kill the sun and it'll, it'll kill the whole universe as well. I guess that technically works, but that's kind of a lame answer. It's like, who would win? 20 toddlers or one full-grown man, but also the toddlers have a nuclear missile. Ho oh, ho! Like, a default lion power is not creating a black hole. Like, that's not part of the lion's average skill set. That shouldn't be even, like, included in the challenge, I don't think. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you a zoologist? I know enough about lions to know that they haven't been observed making any spontaneous black holes recently. Maybe they did, like, back in, like, the 1800s before they had, like, cameras to film stuff. But I know as of right now, nobody's ever recorded that happening. <laughs>